Hello and what a great day to sew something wonderful. I'm Kia with Kia B and I'm so excited to be back with you today. Y'all have been asking and we are finally ready to start posting quilting tutorials again and we have a really fun one planned for you today. In today's tutorial, I'm gonna teach you how to take all of your scraps and bust them up into super adorable little hearts. Uh, I kind of walk you through my thought process on how to take two matching rectangles and measure out how to make any size into a heart. And I think it's really, really fun. It's absolutely adorable. I can't wait in the end to show you all the ones that I've made. But uh, here recently, and very much within the last several months, we have been really wanting to encourage other quilters, other cross stitchers, other crafters in general. And, um, you know, we just want to keep this a very positive environment. And we talk about that with you all a lot. And uh, we actually have been in a lot of correspondence with emails and things like that, where you guys are very encouraged to encourage others as well. So yes, Valentine's Day is just around the corner. And I wanted to teach you how to make a super adorable little quilty heart for your family, friends, coworkers, loved ones. Uh, but I also wanted to I don't know, I just feel inspired for you guys to make these, for me to make those and send them as little stitchy gifts, kind of postcards, uh, if you will, throughout uh, just, you know, the next few months as you're encouraging your friends, you're encouraging your family and um, for just, you know, some scraps. It's absolutely adorable and I think it's a great way to remind ourselves of you know, just the encouragement and the uplifting that we can give each other. So why don't we flip around and we'll head over to the sewing machine and I'll show you how easy it is to make one of these. Materials that you'll need for today's project are a cutting mat, a small ruler, it's not going to take a very big one, a rotary cutter, and then your sewing machine with coordinating thread, and then your scrap bag. So, or bins or whatever you keep your scraps in. So if you remember last year, I taught you how to make a band-aid from the band-aid quilt and um, you guys, it was absolutely beautiful and the response was astounding and we were able to give so many band-aids away and we're still working on those. And so the center of that is a heart and I got to thinking with Valentine's Day coming up and just our, our campaign to be encouraging, wouldn't it be cute if we could figure out how to take our scraps and make whatever size heart we wanted to. If we wanted to make our coworkers small mug rugs or a big quilt or things like that, then we could figure out an easy method for making the center of that band-aid, which was a heart. So what I've done is I've taken my scrap bins and I've just pulled out some scrap fabric. This is by uh, Bonnie and Camille. This is handmade. And so I've taken out of my seven inch bin, just a piece of fabric and cut it down into two exactly uh, the same size rectangles. These are three and a half by seven and you'll need two of those. I think if we take half of that measurement of three and a half, that's one and three quarters. If we cut out four squares, that are one and three quarters and we press those on the diagonal. And we put one in each of the top corners. I believe this is gonna make the top of our heart. We're just gonna put these here like this. Now, the thing at the bottom, I think if we take our width at the bottom, which is three and a half, and we make that dimension a square and we press those on the diagonal, this is gonna become the bottom of our heart, just like this. And just like that, we have a very simple, a very simple little heart pattern here, okay? So will this same method work for any of our scraps? Let's check. I'm gonna assemble several of them, cut a few more of them with you, and then we'll go to the sewing machine and sew them all and figure out how well this works out. So there's one, I'll put those aside. Okay, now let's try a little bit bigger. I've pulled out just some pink fabric, and these are five by nine inch pieces. So not particularly um, 
dimensional or anything like that. They're just exactly the same size. So if this is five inches wide and we cut that in half, that's two and a half. So let's lay our two and a half inch squares up here pressed on the diagonal and see if this works. Just like that. So our width at the bottom is still five inches. So let me scoot these up just a tad. I've got five inches here at the bottom, so I've made five inch squares, which would be very charm pack friendly. And put those at the bottom. And there we go, there's a second heart just out of the scraps. So now let's cut some together. So here's two more. All right, so I'm just going to pull out another piece here. This is out of my seven inch bin. And let's just see, let's cut this guy in half. I wanna press this first. And we're going to measure this. This measures to be seven inches by, let's trim this down to nine inches. Make sure our fabric is straight. skinny one. Let's cut this guy in half. So this would cut this one and if this is seven we're gonna cut it at three and a half. Okay, so now we have two rectangles that are three and a half by nine. So again, if we take that three and a half width, that would be one and three quarters. So let's grab another piece of scrap. Let's just do white. Cut some one and three quarter inch inch strips out here. And the width of our bottom is still three and a half, so we'll do three and a half inch squares. We'll just need two of those. Now we'll press all of these on the diagonal. So let's bring in our rectangles and piece these together and see what that looks like. So we have our four one and three quarter inch squares that will go at the top. Just like this. And here at the bottom, we will have our three and a half inch squares pressed on the diagonal. And that just makes a really skinny long heart. How cute is that? Oh my goodness. Okay, so let's go to the sewing machine and try and stitch these out a little bit. Let's go back to our very first one here. If I can get all the pieces out. Okay. So now what you'll want to do is open all these and one by one, take them to the sewing machine and you're going to press right in that valley. So right in the fold, we're just going to press, stitch right down there.
if you notice, I kept coming back over just to make sure I had all of my placement right. So now with your ruler, you'll want to open these up and trim a quarter of an inch away from your seam that you just sewed. and we will press all of these again. Now it is very important because these are on the bias that we don't pull or stretch or handle them too much so that they don't distort. We are just going to lay our iron on and press for just a moment. And then the very last thing to do would be to sew these two things together. Now here is my tip for doing that. When I flip these, I want to make sure and match up these two points here. So I will take a pin and stick, them, stick it in just there so that we uh, get a really good crisp seam there and then also line up these seams here at the bottom. So I'll have two pins in right there. So let me grab that. Okay, and now that that is pinned, we will stitch a quarter of an inch all the way to the bottom. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Okay, so this was our three and a half by seven. Let's try our very, we would just use the exact same methods for this. I'm missing a square here. So we would just do the exact same methods for all of this. So what a neat, neat thing to do. So then we could just start piecing very scrappy squares and get them all together. That's so fun. Oh my goodness, I love this. And then something very light colored would be this way. And my tip for you would just to be, after you sew each diagonal seam, my tip would definitely be just to go back over to your full design of heart off to the side on your cutting mat and just make sure that all of your angles are still facing the right way. Oh, that's so fun. This would make such a scrappy uh, quilt, just a very beautiful scrappy quilt with kind of all of your scraps maybe that you made through with your quilts throughout the year or super fun things. I love this. This tutorial turned out so great and I love it so much. This is the heart that we stitched on camera. Then this is our bigger heart. So this is our nine inch heart, which turned out so super cute. This is our skinny one, which I know lighter color, so it's a little harder to see. And then guys, I just, couldn't stop there. Look how cute this tiny one is. I love this so much. I think this is Tech Eye's favorite. And I just, all I did was measure the two rectangles, divided them in half, cut those squares, cut a square at the bottom the same size, and we have a tiny little heart. I love this tutorial. I hope that you guys enjoyed it, that you found it useful, and I just hope that you uh, make a bunch and just kind of send them out as stitchy kindness. Thank you so much for joining us in the hive today, and we look forward to seeing you again.